Hello everyone, welcome back to the Real Time Game Time Let's Play. I'm Scott Bloom, and I'm still playing Mass Effect 2 for the Xbox 360. Uh, I changed my uh, audio settings a little bit. Uh, I lowered the microphone boost to 0%. I think it was up at uh, 20%. And I didn't really change the uh, capture input, so that's at uh, volume of 10. So let's see how this goes. All right, uh, I got uh, got the Krogan. I've got Morden. I've got uh, Garrus. So let's move on. Uh, Armory Tech Lab. <clears throat> see if there's anything new here. <clears throat> uh, sniper rifle damage. I think I could do that. Alright, All right, what else? What can upgrade? Nothing. Armor upgrade? Nothing. Prototypes. Okay, can't do anything yet. All right. Well, let's let's talk to Morden. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard Kirihi died on Burmire. Not enough equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. Dedicated. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. <clears throat> Jacob? Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific, or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug, too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. Now you look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. <laughs> Most of us didn't get a Cerberus rebuild. They outdid themselves with you. Ask for any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. No kidding. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Seriously? Alright. <clears throat> 
Talk to Garrus now. To. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth! You're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. <laughs> In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? <clears throat> it's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Well, I'm just gonna... interact with that the subject is stable Shepard integration with onboard systems was seamless can he see anything in there does he know where he is unlikely current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition barring shipwide power loss the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year any idea how dangerous this guy is he is a Krogan Shepard if you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Let's do it. Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. 
The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. <clears throat> okay, so that is Grunt. Voiced by, I think, Steve Bloom. Who is also the voice of uh, Starscream in Transformers Prime. Okay, so we took care of that. Let's find Gears. Okay, crew quarters. <clears throat> Surprise again? Come on, Rupert. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those namby pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. <laughs> okay, main battery. Gyrus will be holed up in here. And there he is. <clears throat> Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy <clears throat> with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll <clears> find <throat> him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Okay.
Next up is Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Okay, so that's about everybody. Except for Joker. <clears throat> Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I shouldn't have any. <clears throat> Fields. Any news on your brother? We'll get your brother back and make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Okay. You collect stray cats as a kid? Because we really needed a Mega Krogan, so thanks for dragging him home. <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spread it around. All right. That's it for now. <clears throat> See you, Commander. <laughs> I love his comment about Garrus. <laughs> okay, so I think that's about it. <clears throat> Uh, you know what? I am going to call it a wrap right here. Sorry it's uh, a short one, but... Uh, oh, well, not as short as I thought. Um, so, yeah, stick around for more Mass Effect 2. Uh, don't forget to comment, and uh, let me know uh, how this turned out. So, thank you for watching, and see you later. <laughs>